Hello, and welcome to our first episode of Pharmacy Calculations Practice. We're going to be doing a series of these, and we're going to look at questions that may be similar to what you might see on the Pharmacy Technician Certification Exam, and provide some good tips on how you can go about solving these questions. If you have any questions in particular you would like to see us solve or similar types of questions, please feel free to reach out to us. We'll be showing our contact info later in this presentation. Okay, so this question came to us from one of our students, and I'm not sure where they had seen this question. Maybe they saw it on some practice exam online, uh, but they wanted some help. And I'm not sure you're gonna see a question too similar to this on the PTCE, but it is a great question to practice cross multiplication and practice going through multiple steps to get to an answer. So I like, I like this one in the sense that if you can solve this one, you're gonna do pretty well on most questions on the PTCE. So this question is giving you a ton of information and then asking you a specific problem to solve. So they're telling you you're working at a retail pharmacy that uses a sliding scale to determine the selling price of prescription orders. And this sliding scale is based on the wholesale cost of the drug with a markup percentage based on that wholesale cost and a dispensing fee based on that wholesale cost. And then they're providing you with a table with different drugs and what the wholesale cost of those drugs are per 1,000 units. And it's very important there to understand that that cost is per 1,000 units. That's not cost per unit. And then the question is a cash paying customer is picking up two prescription orders. The first is 30 tablets of drug P. The second is 90 capsules of drug L. What will the total be for both of these orders? So the first thing I'm going to do is understand that I, I have two separate calculations for these two individual drugs I need to do. And then at the very end, I'll simply add the cost of those two drugs together to get to the answer. So let's start with drug P. We go to our table and we can see that drug P costs $840 per 1000 units. And we are being asked to dispense 30 tablets. So we need to figure out what the wholesale cost is for 30 tablets. There's multiple ways to get there but I'm a big fan of being consistent when you're performing calculations. And I think the best way to stay consistent is to use proportions and cross multiplication when you can. And the method I teach my students to do this is always set up a proportion with your unknown variable or unit in the numerator side on the right hand side of the proportion. So we're going to need to solve for X and X is going to be cost per 30 tablets. We'll just put T for short. So 30 is the denominator. Tablets is the unit for that denominator. Cost is the numerator. On the left-hand side of the proportion, you always want to keep your units consistent with the right-hand side. So we need cost in the numerator position. And our known cost is $840 per 1,000 units. So our denominator will be tablets and it's going to be per 1000 tablets. So now that we have set up a good proportion for cross multiplication, we need to cross multiply. And the steps to do this are actually pretty simple. And when you do it like this consistently, the units will work out. So $840 divided by 1000 tablets multiplied by the denominator on the right hand side. So times 30 tablets. And then our resulting answer will be in dollars. So I'm going to use the calculator on my phone to solve this. I always encourage my students, however, when you're doing this in real practice, do it all on your computer screen. Use the calculator on your computer screen because that's the same calculator that you'll be using or a similar calculator, you do it on screen for the PTCE. So 840 divided by 1000 multiplied by 30 equals $25.20. Okay, now the next step is we need to apply our markup percentage to this per the sliding scale. So we're going to find where we fall on the wholesale cost. So we're between 15 and $30 here. 
and our markup percentage is 45 percent and to mark 25 20 up by 45 percent now you could take that dollar figure and multiply it by 0 0.4 and then add that to the dollar figure but a faster way is to simply multiply it by one point or I'm sorry point 45 so one point 45 and that is going to bring us to a total dollar cost of $36.54 but we still have our dispensing fee that we need to add in and that's going to be six dollars and 25 cents and then when we add 36.54 to 625 we get a total fee for that one prescription order of $42.79 okay so that's half of the question now we're going to repeat this process exactly the same way for drug L so this time again we'll set up our proportion with our unknown in the upper right the numerator set on the right X number of dollars per 1000 I'm sorry per 90 capsules because that's what the question is asking us 90 capsules of drug L and then our knowns here on the left hand side so cost will go in the numerator position and we know this is one thousand three hundred and twenty dollars per one thousand capsules okay and I'm gonna save some time by not writing out the exact steps to cross multiply but 1320 divided by 1000 and then cross multiplied so now we're going to multiply by the denominator on the right hand side multiply that by 90 and X is going to equal one hundred and eighteen dollars and eighty cents so that's our wholesale cost for one thousand for 90 capsules of drug L now we need to mark that up per our sliding scale and this time we're going to fall all the way at the bottom here we're more than a hundred dollars for our wholesale cost so our markup is 30 percent and again the easiest way to do this would be to multiply this by 1.3 so if we take 118.80 times 1.3 our cost is now 154 dollars and 44 cents and then we still have to add the dispensing fee which is seven dollars and fifty cents plus 750 and this is going to bring us to a total cost of $161.94. So that is our dispensing fee for 90 capsules of drug L, uh, our total dispensing cost to the patient. And then to solve this uh, question, ultimately, we're simply going to add our total fee for drug P with our total fee for drug L. So 161.94 plus 42.79 is going to bring us to a total charge of $204.73. So it took a lot of steps to get there. Um, but again, if you follow this process and really leverage cross multiplication, um, even though there's going to be very different questions on the PTCE, this mathematical process will apply to most of what you do. Um, so I hope this is helpful to you. And if you have any questions that you would like to see highlighted in the series, or maybe some things you're struggling with as you're going through your own practice for the PTCE, uh, please reach out to us. And you can contact us by connecting with us on Facebook here at this URL, or you can shoot us an email at info at pharmacy tech scholar Dot com and we'll be happy to help you uh, with some future video explanations of any questions that you're finding challenging.